update, letting you know the pulse of what is happening, amen, and the temperature, amen, that is happening for as the soon appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ to remove his church from this planet, to remove the saints of God out of harm's way, because God would never allow the righteous to suffer with the wicked. There's always that separation as he did, hallelujah, throughout the word of God and even in the parables that he taught. So now we were talking about earthquakes because Jesus said there would be earthquakes in diverse places. Amen. We no longer just expect an earthquake in California, but oh no, there are faults all over the earth, all over the United States. But lately, amen, when I just Googled last night, there had been a 6.3 Afghan earthquake, amen, a 6.3 Afghan earthquake, another 5.7 earthquake Afghan, another 6.7 earthquake, all on October the 7th, amen. Some were just minutes from each other and some were a few hours apart, but think about that. We're not talking about 4.2 or something. We're talking about major earthquake, the earth shake, 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 shaking. Could it be a response to what, amen, is happening to God's people, Israel? Oh my God, hallelujah. Like there was a great earthquake when Jesus was hanging on Calvary. God yeah. uses nature, amen, hallelujah, for his response. A 6.9, almost 7.0 in Papua New Guinea. 5.9, 19 miles from Afghanistan. Then another 5.9 in Akaka, probably not saying it, New Mexico, uh, 6.4. I mean, October the 4th in the Philippines, there's been 37 major earthquakes just in the past week. Oh, we are in the end times. Then we've got floods in China. Amen. In Brazil, 22 people have died from floods. Istanbul, Turkey, Greece, the Black Sea region, Bulgaria. Hallelujah. And then we know in Morocco uh, where the flood was so bad and then the dam broke and thousands, amen, were buried in the mud. Then we've got hurricanes coming into the Pacific Coast and the Atlantic. Usually it's just the Atlantic, but they're coming in in both directions and they're coming in, as I always said, like cars coming into a parking lot. Not just one every 10 years or so, but amen, the birth pains are increasing in frequency and intensity just as when we give birth. Hallelujah. We got the Hillary. We got Adelia. We got Lee. 15 people killed. Losses over one billion plus of uh, 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 property damage and so forth. Then we got the tornadoes. We got 75 deaths, amen, just in the United States and 108 deaths worldwide from tornadoes. Yes, tornadoes happen in other places. Joseph can let you know from Pakistan. Yes, they have cyclones. They have typhoons. They have, amen, tornadoes. Amen. In the U.S., 1,162 tornadoes. Amen. Just in 2023. My God, my God. China, amen, 12. Turkey, 3. Indonesia, 9. Uh, Malamar, 8. These are talking about uh, tornadoes. Signs in the heavens and in the earth. We've got wildfires, the worst in history. 410 megatons all over the world. Boreal forests have record-breaking wildfires have occurred all over the northern hemisphere in 2023. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hasmas builds militaries underground. They use humans as shields. Amen. They are being told to go to get as far away because they are about to rain down. Amen. They are defending themselves. Talking about Israel. Then same-sex marriage. It used to be a time that only about 15 states had same-sex marriage. Now 
now it's okay in every state because of a ruling. And then same sex is agreed upon by 71% of the people. Hallelujah. 71% of people say, yeah, it's okay. Harry, get with a gym. Amen. Diane, get with Mary. Isn't that something? How the mentality of men have changed. Talking about that man, but you need to say, Lord, keep me in my right mind in the midst of these uh, uh, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils that are being perpetrated throughout uh, the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time to get your man on Jesus and you can't have your man on Jesus unless you got Jesus in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, 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 deep can, uh, Minister Prince, can you uh, share uh, those two earthquakes uh, that you just sent me information on, uh, uh, a little bit about them, if you have that available? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. If not, I'll, I can call back on you at the end of the service if I kind of caught you off guard. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, we'll we'll go on and we'll see if he has wants to share that with us a little bit afterwards. He just sent me two very, very, I mean, these are things that are happening right now. We are having the breaking news that is verified in the word of God and in the Bible. Thank you, Lord. So today we're talking about, Lord, keep me in my right mind. The subtopic is the mind of Christ. And if you have pencil, paper, pen, or whatever, please take notes, even though it's being recorded and will be on YouTube. Our text is coming from 2nd, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, Philippians chapter number two, which uh, our two dear sisters uh, read for us as our scripture text on today, verses one through five. Now I'm going to read it in the end. IV. They read the uh, uh, King James Version, which is uh, what I prefer, but I just want you to get a little bit of clarity uh, what this is saying here in these specific particular scriptures. Father God, we thank you. We bless you. We praise your holy name. Oh God, we pray that you set a watchman over our lips. Oh God, that you would cause us to have utterance, Lord God, how you that is urged in by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, which will make preaching easy. Oh God, we pray, hallelujah, for every family, every home, every heart that is represented on this line. We pray that they be fruitful in their spirits, in their learning, hallelujah, in their minds, Lord God, that they will be able to reflect on this message, even on tomorrow and even this time next month. So when they come into various trials and situations, they will respond with the mind of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord God, let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, as we strive to take heed to the flock of God, which you have made us overseer, that we might feed them, Lord God, with the manner and the right, amen, nourishment for the salvation and the uh, increase of their knowledge, the maturity, Lord God, of their souls in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So the NIV says, therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and any compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing hallelujah, out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Amen. So that is how it is written in the NIV. He's talking to the church. He's talking to the body of Christ, not talking to people in the world because they are going to respond after their flesh, after their feelings, 
hallelujah, according to, you know, the family tree and all this up in there. But he said, as for you, if you're in Christ, hallelujah, if you uh, are encouraged with being united in Christ, amen, you're comforted by his love. You, you have something in you that will help you go through the hard trial. It will help you stand and see that loved one go down in, in, in the grave, hallelujah. They put my nephew so far down, but then we realized they're going to bury um, my brother George if he should uh, expire on top of him. And, 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 and you know, when you don't have that hope in Christ, you just almost go out of your mind. But thank God when you got, amen, Christ in you, the hope of glory, he will steady you and he will allow you to stay in your right mind and go through these things. Hallelujah. So it is talking about the humility of of Christ and the mindset of Christ. The King James Version says, let this man be in you, which was also in, amen, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is causing you, amen, causing you. Let that man this in you, cause you to be, amen, like Jesus. Verse six says, who being in the form, the very form of God, Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. So, amen, we know, amen, I and my father are one, so he is equal, but he, amen, didn't take on that reputation, but he made himself of no reputation and took up on him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. He could have come forth as a full grown man. He could have come ruling and reigning that was not his man said even though he is l-o-m hallelujah even though he is el shaddai even though he is el el yon even though a man he is jehovah sick even though he was jehovah rafa he humbled himself to be obedient and die on the cross Oh, this is the mind of Christ, that mind that obeys God regardless of our personal vendettas. Hallelujah. I said, regardless of our personal vendettas, I just got to do it like God would have me to do. No proclaiming any right to fame, even though being in the form of God, humbled and was fashioned as a man or became flesh, subject to rules and regulations and the authority by what he himself had created. Doesn't it say he was in the world and the world was created by him? Oh yes, he was subject to their rules. Never said, look, I started this world. Never said, no, this belongs to my father. Never said any of that. You can choose to take the low road. You have the power within you. Get beyond the I, 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 I feel, I think, I won't, oh no, and my, 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 my. James 4 and 10 says, humble yourselves before the what? The Lord, and he will do what? He will lift you up. It is better for you to do it. It is better for you to humble yourself than the Lord to humble you. Oh, no, no, no. You, you, know, you don't want the Lord humbling you. You don't want the Lord causing you to bow down. Oh, no, no, no. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember Nebuchadnezzar walked out on his balcony, looked around at all his stuff and his kingdom. Hallelujah. What God had allowed him to accomplish, but didn't give God no glory. Look what I got. Look what I've accomplished. Look what I did in my years. Oh, the Lord humbled him. He said, you're going to be like a cow. You're going to be out there eating the grass, huh? And, and, and your nails going to grow out like eagles uh, claws and your hair going to be so roughed up. Amen. It's going to look like feathers. And so that's what happened to him until he came to himself and acknowledged that God is the one that's ruling in the heavens and in the earth, in the kingdom of men. All I am and all I ever hope to be. Lord, I owe it all to thee. To God be the glory. You out of your mind when you think, amen, you've done something all by 
yourself. Hallelujah. 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 And so he could have called 10,000 angels as the song said. And he told Peter that, put your sword away. How you think you're going to defend me, Peter? How don't you know I got the power to call, amen, a whole host of angels? But I came to humble myself. I came to die for the sins of the world. So verse five, let this man be in you, which was also in, amen, Christ Jesus, hallelujah, who being in the form of God, made himself of no reputation, hallelujah. You can choose to take the low road, hallelujah, that's where I was. So let's get this man, it says, let this kind of man, let, amen, this man be in you, amen, the humble kind of man, the man of Christ is the only man that puts you in your right man, I said, if you ain't got the man of Christ, you out of your man, hallelujah, you are not in your right man, so this man be in you, thank you, Jesus, look at Proverbs 4 and 12, it says, above Above all else, guard your heart. And it's talking about your, not your boom, boom heart, but your man. Guard your heart or your mind for everything you do flows from it. So filter your thoughts, amen, through the mind of Christ. Don't let every thought come out, amen. Don't let every thought sit there and, and kind of marinate because I'm going to tell you what happens with that. Filter your thoughts through a man that is Christ-minded. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, you will keep him in perfect peace. Those whose minds are stayed on thee because they trust in you. See, you can be so uh, depressed and hold on to grief so long that that thing will marinate in your mind and become suppression and depression, which can even lead to suicide. Amen. So don't, amen, let the mind of the things that are happening around you and to you take over you. Oh, no, get back into a Christ mindset. First uh, Corinthians 4 and 10, Paul says, we are fools for Christ's sake. So the song says, everybody, somebody's fool. Now I'm no exception to the rule. But it's talking about how you're falling head over heels with a woman. But I want you to fall head over heels with the Lord Jesus Christ and say, I'm a fool for Christ. If I got to be somebody's fool, let me be a fool for Christ. Amen. That's what the man told Paul. Uh, uh, he said, Paul, you didn't you done lost your mind. He said, much learning has made you mad. <laughs> When Paul was trying to tell him about there's one God, there's one Savior, hallelujah. So y'all got to the unknown God. Let me tell you who that unknown God is. It's in him we move, in him we have our brand being. Ain't no God but this God. And the man said, ooh, you done lost your man up in here. Hallelujah. But I want you to know, I don't mind being a fool for Christ. Because if I'm amen in the mind of Christ, then I am in my right mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Be like David. David, amen, realize I have lost my mind. I have lost my mind. Hallelujah. Amen. When he had somebody murdered so he could have their wife. Hallelujah. When he tried to do a cover up of his sin. When he tried, amen, to justify doing wrong. When he knew he was, uh, 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 when he knew he was wrong, he tried to justify it. Hallelujah. But when he heard from the preacher, when he came to himself, when and man met the right man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, oh Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Get my spirit back right. Hallelujah. Get my mind back right. Deliver me from this stinking thinking I've done wrong and it's, I ain't wrong nobody but you and nobody made me do it but me. Hallelujah. He says, me Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Fix my mind. Yep, my mind, oh God. Hallelujah. That's what we do. That's what we must do, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Because when you do what God says, the way God says, the Bible says, though a man fall four times, huh? four times, but the Lord will pick him up because he's trusting in the Lord. 
So keep your mind on the Lord. And if you should happen to stumble, if you should happen to fall, get back up again. Don't sit there lying in that. Amen. Repent. Hallelujah. 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 If God is not in your mind, then you are like the people in Psalms 14 and 1. The fool, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. Hallelujah. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Amen. And that's where we are today. That's where we are today. When we're talking about the pulse, the rapture index, where the world is today. They have become like the people in Romans 1 and 27 today, hallelujah, they did not want to retain God in their knowledge, in their minds, in their thinking, because it brought condemnation up on them. It made them, amen, get bad feelings about themselves, and they didn't want no kind of condemnation or nobody reminding him that, hey, this is totally abominable. This is totally, amen, against the word and the ways of God in their thinking or in their thought processes. They trusted their calculations, but not the creator. They want to operate and have healing without the healer. They want to acquire the world's wealth without the owner thereof. So they are God robbers of his glory, of his honor, Hallelujah. They don't tithe. They're not giving back to God who gave them what they have. They trust the works of their own hands without the hand of God. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his wonderful works among the children of men. It is time. It is time to seek the Lord while he may be found. It's time to come out with your hands up and say, Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you are not in Christ's mind, this is what the Lord gave me. If you're not in the Christ mindset, you are out of your mind. Loco in lust. Cuckoo in cooperating with the ungodly, in partnership with the ungodly. You are insane in institutions of drugs and drinking and darkness. You are hallucinating on the devil's deception and strong delusion of homosexuality, bisexual, and lesbian spirits. You have given in to the seducing spirit and the doctrine of devils. Lord, put me in my right mind. Man, the man who hung around the tombs, remember in the Bible, he, he cut himself and they chained him and nobody even wanted to go past uh, uh, that, 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 that area of town, hallelujah. They just put him over there to the wayside and, and, and it took the power of God to deliver him from whatever sent him over the edge. People had decided to avoid even contact with him, just leave Leave him over there with his demons. Leave him over there with his addiction. Leave him over there with his struggle. Hallelujah. Because you see sin, when it is conceived, it brings forth corruption. This means when lust, when wrong desires, wrong attitudes, including hatred, including unforgiveness, once you let that be conceived in your spirit, Spirit. It bring forth sin. I said it bring forth sin. Help me. We're trying to learn something today. Amen. Sin being allowed to excite the desire or marinate in your thoughts, it will soon ripen those desires into consent. And then it is said to have been conceived. The sin truly exists, though it might just be a little bitty seed, it's growing like a snowball rolling down a snow covered hill. It's growing like the man claimed the fish that broke his wheel. It's growing. You let the hatred sit there. You let the unforgiveness sit there. It is growing and is going to bring forth sin. Hatred is the same as murder. You might as well take a dagger and rip through that gut. Hallelujah. So we're saying, Lord, keep me in my right mind, no matter what circumstances happen, no matter what people do it, because when it has grown its full size in the mind, it is then 
brought forth in actual execution. Amen. Stop the beginning of sin. So don't let it get in your mind. Rebuke the thought, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Stop giving the devil so much, amen, of your attention. I said, stop giving the devil and the situation so much of your attention. Stop enabling and empowering, amen, the situation, the circumstances, the enemy, whatever it is, quit empowering it. If they or it is taking your sleep away, you have given too much thought to it and too much power. You can't have the mind of Christ without Christ in you and then be led because as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Not just those who have the Spirit of God, but if you ain't letting it lead you, amen, hallelujah, you are not really a child of God. So stop enabling and then be led because, amen, the song says, I woke up this morning with my man stayed on Jesus, not going in and out, hallelujah, but keep it on Jesus, not on the enemy, not on the situation, hallelujah, that's your problem, amen, your emotions, your feelings, your bias, your formal way, and your association, but if you are led, amen, in your right mind, you can admit that some things, amen, are your own fault, hallelujah, amen, have that Christ-like man, that humble man. I'm not talking to you unless it's you. See yourself. Admit, hallelujah, there's some reasons folks might not like you so much. Hallelujah, but they don't have a right to hate you because hatred is equal to murder. So we have to make sure we don't allow our enemies to make us miss heaven because we are busy hating and detesting them. Do I need to say that again? I said, make sure you don't allow your enemy to make you miss heaven because you are concentrating on detesting and hating them. Jesus said, hanging from the cross after having his back beaten like a plowed field, after having a crown of thorns pressed down on his head, hallelujah, piercing his temples, blood running down his face, this is so marred that he knows don't even look like a man, unrecognizable, hallelujah, hallelujah, Bible says his vision was so marked more than any man, so no man that had been crucified before ever got beat up on and whipped up on like Jesus, hallelujah, I hope I'm helping you today, but what did he say? Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. They, amen, don't know what they're doing. Amen. They don't realize how they're hanging themselves. They don't realize what trouble they're getting themselves into because you said vengeance was yours. So they have a time coming. They have a payday coming, but I'm not the one, amen, to write the check. Peter denied God, amen, because of a circumstance. You see, people, conditions, trials, conflicts, circumstances can have you out of your mind if you, amen, don't grab hope. Gird up the loins, amen, put a girl on it. <laughs> somebody put a girl on that thing hallelujah because it gets them popping out everywhere oh yes it will oh yes it will hallelujah peter denied god amen he cussed reverted back to cussing because of the circumstance of thinking Christ was not in control. But after the Holy Ghost was in him, he spoke boldly, amen, to his adversary, even unto death. If you have the Holy Ghost, stand your ground and keep the mind of Christ. I said, stand your ground and keep the mind of Christ. Get the devil off of your shoulder. Peter, hallelujah. Thank Thank you, Lord. The godly may trip, the word of God says, seven times, but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. You see what the word of God says? Listen, the godly may trip seven times. 
but they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. Folks that don't know God, one little thing can take them over the edge. Hallelujah. The song says, I got peace of mind. I got joy, Lord, I never could find. I got love at last. that cannot be surpassed. I got the brightest star that shines. I got heaven on my mind. I got leaving on my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got heaven on my mind. I've got Jesus, and that's enough. I said, I got Jesus. Eh, I got Jesus, and that's enough. I got peace of mind because I got Jesus, and that's enough. If you don't agree with me, that's all right. I'm going to make it anyway. I believe I can make it. I said, I believe I can make it. Hallelujah. 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 I believe I can make it through this storm because I got Jesus on my mind. Hallelujah. So Peter, amen, cuss, denied. But once he got the Holy Ghost, oh, my God, my God, Philippians 4 and 7, thank you, said, Holly, and the peace of God, and the peace of God, not a little peace. That's not what it's talking about. It's the P-E-A-C-E -E of God. That lets you know peace belongs to God. No peace. Amen. Holly, no God, no peace. You can't have peace. This peace belongs to God. And the peace of God, which what surpasses everything you understand, everything you got in your mind, all your reasoning, the peace of God, anything somebody say to you to disturb your peace, God's peace, huh? It surpasses all understanding. That's what guards your heart and your mind. That's what keeps you from going crazy. That's what keeps you from living among the tombs. That's what makes you go to the cemetery. As I said, don't look at a hole in the ground. Look for an opening in the sky. Keep your head up. Amen. Because Jesus is coming soon. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so the mind of Christ, Lord, keep me in my right mind. When my enemies and my foes come up to eat up my flesh, when they come at me every which way, when destruction come up on me, when situations, amen, come up on me, when everything is failing, let me remember that your peace can sustain me. Hallelujah. Not unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Everything else might be in default and failing, but God never fails. I said, God never fails when somebody shout, hallelujah, Lord, keep me in my right mind as I go through here. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said, peace, I leave with you. My peace, see, it belonged to him. You can't give away what don't belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. My husband always get after me because I sometimes give away his stuff. He said, how are you going to give away what didn't belong to you? Thank you, Lord Jesus. But I just believe what belonged to him belonged to me. So I gave it away. <laughs> because <laughs> I thought he had too much of it. Oh, God, but hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is saying, my peace, hallelujah, I give to you, not as the world give, Hallelujah, because the world will give it and take it away. Hallelujah, the world will scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Not as the world give, do I give to you. Let not your heart, don't allow it. Don't suffer your heart, amen. Don't suffer your mind to be troubled, neither let it be afraid. St. John 14 and 17, my heart will not be troubled. My heart will not be afraid. You have to say that to yourself, hallelujah, when you're getting ready to fret. Jesus said, don't worry, don't fret, but seek the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. You, all the answers, all, amen, the working out of the situation, give them to God, give them to God, give that daughter to God, give that son to God, that grandchild to God, that nephew to God, hallelujah, you cannot control them, you cannot control their spirit, but God, amen, your disciples couldn't do nothing, Lord, but if you can do anything, help my son, help my son, amen, the hospital hadn't been not able to help them, the psychologists have not not been able to help them. Or oh, even the church, amen, had not been able to help them. But Lord, my eyes are up on you. If you can do anything for this child, Lord, help 
my son. Can somebody say that in their heart and in their mind? Lord, hallelujah, if you can do anything, amen, about my situation. I've made calls and I got turned down, but Lord, if you can do anything, hallelujah, help my situation. Guard your mind from becoming like everyone else or thinking like everyone else, like everyone else in the world. What did Romans 12 and 2 say? Do not conform. Don't conform. Don't, don't turn yourself in the same pattern and, and dress in the same way, talk in the same way and act in the same way and, and, and trying to get an answer the same way. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah. Get your mind on a new plane and on a new level for your cure, for your healing. Get your mind, not the way the world gets a healing, but I'm getting my healing according to the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. Then you will be able, see it says, if you get the mind of Christ, if your attention is on Christ, if you're looking unto the hills because you know your help is coming from them, you're not looking to Kaiser Permanente, you're not looking to United Healthcare, oh God, hallelujah, but you're looking unto Jesus, the author, the finisher, the one that's writing your story. Thank you, Jesus, the one that's got your plan for you, a plan of good and not evil, a plan to give you a hope and a future. Thank you, Lord. He says, then you will be able, hallelujah, able, y'all been awfully quiet, I don't see my phone lighting up or nothing, but you can say amen, you can put something in the chat if you're getting the picture today. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good and perfect will, his pleasing will, amen, towards you. So that's where you start, amen, go to Jesus, amen, and don't act like the world, don't run to the world for help, but amen, you might have to get an attorney, but know that God is your judge and your paraclete, hallelujah. The hallelujah, glory to God. Hey, yes, Lord. That's Lord. That's all right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Christian, the Christian, we as the body of Christ, we have to be Christ-like as we go through these things. Hallelujah. The mind of Christ is that mind that asks, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Okay, here's the situation, but what would Jesus do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how I had to do yesterday. Day. Amen. As I had to stand in a church, hallelujah, Baptist church, amen, and speak words, hallelujah, hallelujah. At first, I was wondering, oh, well, Lord, what do I need to say? Amen. What does this one I need to hear? That one. Again. Then I just, Lord, what do you want me to say? You know who's there. You know, amen, the circumstance. And then it began to flow. God began to filter, began to speak, amen, through me. And I began to put it down. What to say to these people? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you seek the Lord, he will give you direction and instruction and you will be able to prove what's his will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Amen. Would, would Christ watch this TV program? Hallelujah. Would he act the way I act on my job? Would he treat his family the way I treat my family? Would he spend his money on what I'm spending my money on the mind of Christ? Is that which continues to ask itself, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus us do? Would Jesus respond to them the way I responded? And if you ever needed the answer to that question, just look it up in the word of God. And I guarantee you, you will find in the word of God what Jesus would do. So the mind of Christ is one that has the attitude of Christ and seeks to, hallelujah, initiate, amen, that mind of Christ. Another thing, hallelujah, 
hallelujah. Uh, scientists have noticed, scientists have noticed if they could look inside the mind, thank you, Jesus, of a renewed Christian and look in the mind of someone that is not a man or believer, there are distinct differences even in the brain, in the brain. And so now they have caused uh, themselves uh, uh, to find the God gene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can uh, uh, Google it. And then they found something they call the God gene. And so they're actually trying to manipulate and see if we can form a type of surgery to get that God gene out of men because, amen, it is that they think that they equate to, uh, you know, folks that are fanatical, folks that are fanatical, folks that react, amen, in a fanatical way. They say, well, these Christians, amen, when they get excited, amen, we watch them when they're listening to their joyful music and we see all this going on in their brain and it's almost like the folks that are fanatical on the, on the far left or whatever. Hallelujah. So we need to get that, that, that gene, that God gene out of all of them. Hallelujah. And so they will be trying to perform because what? They don't want to retain the knowledge of God in their minds. And they don't want it in your mind because, amen, you remind them of the mind of Christ. I said, you remind them that, hey, it ain't right for you to be shacking. You remind them that, hey, it ain't right for you to be laying with no child. Hallelujah. They, you are reminding them Man, you don't belong laying with that man. So you are reminding them and they don't want no bad fuzzies. They want all warm fuzzies. Amen. They don't want, amen, no condemnation, no conviction. Hallelujah. So they're trying to rewrite these things. Amen. Trying to even remove gender from the Bible, just like they're trying to remove gender from humanity. They like what God got, but they're trying to twist it around, but they they ain't got nothing to use of their own. They got to use God's stuff. So they're trying to manipulate what God has created. Amen. The man of men are on, on evil continual as it was in the days of Noah. But that's what Jesus said it would be, which, amen, lets us know that we're at the door of his appearing. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank hallelujah. You, Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Yes. Yes, God. Yes, God. Likewise, Satan wants to interest you in sin, but not telling you the end result of it. On the other hand, the Holy Spirit is given to deliver us from the power of sin. See, that's how the devil works. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. Have you ever noticed these commercials? They got people walking along in the park. They're golfing. Hallelujah, Sister Diane. They're doing all kind of nice see nices and they're telling you to oh take this medicine oh this medicine it's gonna help get the rash off your arm but now it could cause suicidal thoughts it could cause kidney failure it could make you have a stroke and, and, and but, but they got the pretty picture going see they got the pretty picture going, and that's vain imaginations amen images that's what imagination is that's why the bible says we're not fighting against flesh and blood we're wrestling against we got a battle going on in the man, what you allow into your man, what thoughts you let filter through. And so the weapons of warfare are fighting the battle in your man. They're not carnal. Oh, but they're mighty through God. Amen. The weapons that we have can pull down them strongholds and the things that try to take a stronghold in your mind. Amen. We can pull it down. We can bring it into captivity. Capture those thoughts. Don't let the birds, as they said, might fly over your head, but don't let them land and build no nest in your head. Keep them moving and keep them off. Hallelujah. Because we bring them into captivity and to the obedience of Christ. Devil, you are a liar. He is what God's word said. And that's what we're going to do up in here. Hallelujah. You got to find another man to plant that in. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Amen. Amen. He, yes, God. Yes, God. He often reminds us of the scripture and the lessons taught in the scripture 
scriptures to help us, but we must listen. This warfare, amen, is in the mind. The mind, the mind, the key word is imaginations. Our minds are capable of all kinds of imagination. Oh, the brain is better than any computer man will ever come up with. We got <laughs> memories from uh, uh, years and years ago. Hallelujah. I believe this evening that a whole lot of us are still in the mindset. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, of that temptation song. It says, it's just my imagination running away with me. <laughs> it's just my imagination. Don't let your imagination run away with you. I said, don't let your imagination run away with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't have a... Yes, yes, yes. Don't have a blinded man. Second Corinthians uh, 4, verses 3 and 4 says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Them that are lost. Thank you, Jesus. In whom the God of this world have blinded the mans. See that? The God of this world wants to blind your man to the goodness of God. He want to blind your man to the truth of God's salvation. He want to blinded with your religious tradition. And Jesus said, why are you calling me Lord, Lord, but you're not willing to do the things that I said. Your mind is blinded. Hallelujah. Why transgress ye the commandment of God? Hallelujah. By your tradition, your mind is blinded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why can't you see Amen. That God has more for you. That God is trying to show you the way of God more perfectly. Why can't you see everywhere in his word? It says, repent and be baptized in the name, not the titles, but in the name of Jesus Christ for the removing, the remission of your sin. Why can't you see that neither is our salvation in any other? For there's no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. Why can't you see? You must be born again, not join in, not shake a preacher's hand, not have a let up Christian experience, but it is a birthing into the kingdom of God. In Adam, we all died through Christ. We're all made alive. You can't see that because the God of this world and the God of religion and the God of tradition done blinded your man. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Somebody said, Lord, hallelujah, keep me in my right mind. Let me have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest, here's what's going to happen if you would get them blinders of Satan off. It says, lest the light of the glorious gospel. This good news can get on in there and help you and pick you up out of the Mary Cray. Hallelujah, Sister Ciola. Amen. Let that light. And I'm so glad the blinders came off and I got to see the light. I 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 see the light. I, oh, I see it. Amen. She showed it to me. Just a beautician. Just a beautician showed it to me. Amen. Amen. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can find it in your Bible, she said to me, where somebody got baptized with titles, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. I'm a college student. I need a thousand dollars, y'all. Hallelujah. I searched all night, all night, looking for where somebody in the Bible got baptized with titles, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Couldn't find it nowhere. Went on to church Friday night and submitted to being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sin. And God filled me with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance just like the Bible said. But the devil got folk blinded less, and, and they got them blinded in their own good deeds and their own good ways, and, and they do so much. They're philanthropists, and, and they give to charities, and they think that's covering Adam's sin, that's covering that naughty by nature we were born in and shaping in. Oh no, you got to do it. Jesus said, you must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Lord, keep me in my right mind. Let no trouble, no tribulation, 
tribulation, no trial come up on us to get us off into hating, to get us off into giving up the faith that we have and the hope that we have in your return. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, my God. Amen. Help me to be humble enough to admit it's me. I did it. I even went to some of my nieces and nephews because I've had a tendency and I repented, hallelujah, over the years in the course, amen, of my life. Amen. I have one sister that I'm very, very close to, y'all. A lot of y'all know her. And so her kids and my kids, they've always been together. But I got some other nieces, some other nephews that I could be in a bathroom with them and not even know hey, that's one of them. And I'm taking blame for that. I told them, I said, I want you to take my number. I'm going to have you guys come up to the house to eat. I want to get to know you better. And I want you to know me. Hallelujah. We got to get out of these little groups and these little groups, but let us, amen, extend our love, extend our love, extend your, uh, your circle. You ain't got to have everybody just up in your face, close circle, but you ought to show everybody some love and be easily entreated by everybody and stop all the clicking and the uh, the, uh, the clicking and the clanging. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about me. Y'all see what's on my shirt on the phone. You can't see it, but on my shirt, this says breakthrough, breakthrough. Hallelujah. And I want the Lord to break through every obstacle in my life, every form. Hallelujah. Of bias, prejudice, unrighteousness, unforgiveness. Lord, help me, amen, to do better because I want to make the rapture and I want to help somebody else make the rapture. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know what happened yesterday? And this is to God be the glory. When I got up and said what God had me to say, the pastor that was supposed to do the eulogy, he got up and he said, I ain't preaching no eulogy because that evangelist, hallelujah, she done already preached the eulogy. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God that I followed him, that I obeyed him, that I said what he put in my mouth, that I cried loud and spared not. Hallelujah. You ain't got to beat up on people. You ain't got to put nobody in hell. Amen. What did Jesus say? Amen. What is that to you? You just follow me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that was the thought. You just follow me. Thank you, Jesus. And so all we can do is tell him. All we can do is tell him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so this is our last uh, scripture, and then we will make, amen, the altar call. But please, please don't get in the gall of bitterness. Don't be so intensified in disliking someone because of what they did for you. The Lord said, pray even for your persecutors because your response is going to matter, amen, when he comes, amen, hallelujah, whether you get caught up to meet him in the air. Thank you, Jesus, uh, whether you will be left the hand. Amen. The little foxes destroy the van. We think that's a small thing. No, it's the same as murder. It's the same as adultery. Hallelujah. He mentioned those murmurers, those complainers, those gossipers, along with those adulterers and those robbers. Hallelujah. So the crumbs, the crumbs, get all the crumbs out. In the days, amen, right before the Passover, right before the blood was applied, they had the days of unleavened bread. And he says, sweet. Sweep your house, clean your house out. Don't have no leaven that represents sin in your house. So they got candles, amen. They open the doors and they swept and they clean because even the crumbs, amen, could cause you to be left behind. Hallelujah. Clean your house, amen. Clean your house. And that just means, amen, come out with your hands up. He said, only if I would acknowledge your sin. So Lord, help us. Help us not to have nobody that we hate. Help us to have nobody that we can't stand to be around, oh God. Help us to love them, help us to pray for them, and help us to say, Father, forgive them because they know not what they're doing. Oh, God is not letting them get by. He's not letting them get away. But amen, we are not the vigilantes to get onto them. The eyes of your mind become blinded or blocked off from the truth. The key to victory here is to be willing to come to the light. Let yourself be exposed to the light of the word of God. Then the image of God will shine unto you and faith will have 
you're mine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, keep me in my mind. Keep me in my mind. Keep me in my right mind. Don't let me be overtaken with nothing, nothing. Oh, no. Don't let me be overtaken, amen, with filthy oh, lucre, right with the no. desire to have money. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh. amen. No lust, nothing, 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 amen. Don't let it overwhelm me. Don't let it overtake uh, me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank you, Lord. So we're going to pray right now. If you're on the phone, because everybody I see on the Zoom, amen, is safe. Uh, uh, but even when we pray and you meet me right here at this altar, if something, anything in this word has touched you and you said, oh Lord, that's me, hallelujah, then we are meeting at this altar to repent and humble ourselves just as I, amen, uh, did on yesterday and I will continue to do, amen. I take oh, the blame, amen. hallelujah, hallelujah, because you're being the better man when you go ahead, amen, and take the blame. And you make that first move. Hallelujah. We know the phone rings both ways. Hallelujah. But we are the ones claiming to be saved. So we ought to be the better man and the better example. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Lord has given me uh, this. And I just went ahead and wrote it uh, in my phone. Uh, no, I didn't. I put it in a text to myself. Uh, I was... First, I was sending it to Sister Janet and said, could you include this in your prayer and that in your prayer and this in your prayer? And that's, oh, no, I, I'll just pray this myself at the end because I'm asking her uh, to do too much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, there it is right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So if you're on the line and you... Amen. First, I'm going to pray for these because some of these are sick list. But after this, then uh, we will pray uh, for the Lord to help us with our situations. But just join me uh, while you're muted and praying for and, 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 and Minister Prince. I'm also going to give you opportunity to, to share that afterwards, after, after all the praying is done. Uh, but Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just praise and magnify you, Jehovah, Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Roha. You are our shepherd, so you're our protector, our healer, and our provider. Therefore, we come to you because you alone have the keys to eternal life. Lord God, we pray if anybody on the phone, how he has never uh, seen that light in your word where it says, amen. And you said go baptize all nations and you told them to baptize using a name to bury men in water because it represents their death and their dying out to the old world and world system and Adam's sin and amen they break the cervical waters and be born again birth into your kingdom as your children and you said that this is accomplished by doing that burial hallelujah in in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Help us not to just repeat those instructions, but to follow them by doing it in the name. Even as Peter said, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He did not say, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Ghost, but he used the name as the other disciples stood up, verifying, confirming, and affirming, amen, that way. And they continued to do it in Samaria and at the home of Caesarea of Cornelius. Hallelujah. And even Samaria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even at Ephesus when Paul ran, amen, into certain disciples that were following John's way. They were willing once they saw the light to be baptized over again in the name of Jesus. So Lord God, as we pray, we're praying 
And if anyone is on the line that have seen the light that came on the line with a sincere heart desiring to hear a word from heaven, we pray that the word has gotten into their mind and they will have reflection, that they will even search the scriptures to verify what they have learned from our lips that you gave us, hallelujah, to speak to this people this day, and that they will call, amen, and be, amen, baptized in Jesus' name, for we can get them to the Lord.